Hi everyone, I'm Gyro. In this casual Valheim game video, we are going to go troll hunting. Yep, troll hunting. I don't even look like a proper Viking yet, but you can successfully hunt trolls. And in this video, for what it's worth, I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. Stick around. Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome to the channel if you came here for the very first time. Why not like and subscribe to the channel to show your support if you like casual gaming like we all do around here. I mostly cover World of Warcraft but lately I'm diversifying into Valheim and a little bit of Outriders. If that's your cup of tea, please show your support. So today we are going to be wandering through the dark woods, well to start with anyway. And we're gonna talk about trolls. Trolls are scary, aren't they? They're big, they're blue, and they have some uh, weird uh, resemblance of a skirt on, which certainly is going to make you run away if you saw one in real life. How do you hunt one? Should you hunt one? Should you wait until you've grown up a little bit and accumulated a lot of gear and that kind of stuff before you try and engage with one? Well, as in any survival game in Valheim, I imagine it's up to you. Up to you is a general kind of, well, uh, uh, very easy answer to give in this particular case. What I mean by it, let me qualify, is the fact that yes, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, but this game is about danger. And I think, as a non-expert in survival games, in Valheim specifically, but I think that the fun is in fact in that kind of little ooh balancing danger with uh, you know with the potential reward so you want to push yourself i think a little bit you don't want to play too safe in my opinion so hunting trolls when your armor level so when i open my when i open my um, inventory you can see that my armor level is armor for, uh, level 14 but right now spoiler alert i'm already wearing some troll gear so i already killed some trolls right that's where this kind of little i don't even want to call it a guide but you can if you want to um where this video came from so trolls drop coins trolls drop very valuable troll hide and that troll hide at this kind of beginner i still think range of the game is really uh, desirable i think it provides you with quite a lot of uh, armor armor value of six for example this troll leather tunic gives me and as you can see i'm not playing the game too much so i'm not too far progressed into it but i'm sharing what i've learned so far as i always do in my videos so take it for what it is so yeah in other words i think that you should try and hunt trolls but for that you need a few things. First, I'd say your armor, this shield here, this shield level here should be somewhere above 10. That's what I think realistically for you to survive some occasional hit and some occasional other circumstances that you can see probably in the background here um, are emerging and we'll talk about them in detail now. So. Um, I was, um, I believe I was fighting this troll in a pre-recorded video to this narrative and I think my armor at that point in time was around 12, 11 or 12. I also did not have any advanced arrows and by that I mean I have a fire arrow here. I believe one of these arrows is also a flinted arrow like this one. They have, you know, they have a better penetration, they have more damage. All I had, all I had is just classic wooden arrows, the worst ones. So I have killed this troll that I'm demonstrating here, kind of running around him, primarily using only a bow, and I, I've killed him with wooden arrows. It was harder than it probably needs to be. So my first advice to you is make sure your workbench is upgraded enough by just progressively building whatever you need to upgrade it with. It's upgraded enough for you to upgrade your primary weapon in this particular case. I have a crude bow here at this uh, level of mine. And as you can see, the three in the top right hand corner of the bow, um, I have actually, uh, when, when I was killing that troll, my bow was at level two. So I actually think you can do it at two with wooden arrows, with no troll hide on yet, but you will be, it will be a near death experience type of stuff. And it will be really fun and you will be uh, you can be successful this is this video for what it's worth is a living proof that you can be so further on what what do you need to look out for well 
be well fed have your have your have your um, health maxed out and I'll tell you straight away the trump card in this particular case I recommend I highly recommend engaging with something like a troll especially when you are under geared kind of like I am here I recommend engaging with a troll when you have killed the first boss when you have killed elk when you have killed elk like spoiler alert we will be talking about the elk video similarly to this one but when you kill the elk you get a power you get a special power that activatable by pressing F when you press F and when you activate Aekthea's power here next to the health down there right when you activate it your stamina starts draining a lot slower and I believe you run faster but I could be wrong about that but your stamina definitely starts draining while you run sprint it starts draining a lot a lot slower what does it mean it means that the main tactic the main way to kill a troll is to run around obviously you cannot just face tank a troll it's too huge it will it is gonna crush you instantly so what do you have to do well you shoot him with arrows you run away you shoot him with arrows again if that's if that was all that was there to say because that's really how you kill a troll then the video would be over but there is a lot to say around it so this power having killed the first boss gives me that activatable power which arguably i should have activated earlier into the fight i should have activated it earlier and it basically makes running away sprinting away maintaining speed maintaining distance from the troll a lot a lot a lot easier Additionally to that, as you've already noticed in the footage behind me, uh, you so I I recommend engaging a troll. Obviously, not on a plane. I recommend engaging a troll in the forest, because obstacles in Valheim work like proper obstacles. By that I mean trees, tree trunks, every other kind of stuff, stuff that you have to go around or you have to hop over. Troll also has to go around, and I've never seen a troll hop over anything. So. It's in your best interest to engage in the thickness of the bush. Shoot him a few times, run away behind the trees, make it as awkward and as hard for the troll to pass through that kind of wilderness. And naturally, as you kind of would do in real life if something huge was approaching you, you'd try to hide behind big objects, wouldn't you? Well, I love this game for that. That's the reality of it. That's the survival reality of it. And in order to run, you have to have stamina, and that power, Aekthea's power, is definitely going to make it much, much easier for you. So in case you cannot kill a troll, in case you're dying repeatedly, in case there are some other issues, this might be just that one thing. If you take one thing out of it, that's one thing I recommend for you, that will definitely allow you to, allow you to tip the scales in your favor. Additionally to that, as I was trying to get to uh, throughout this whole rant, watch out for additional ads for additional mobs that are approaching you i recommend fighting in the day not at night because at night there is a lot more stuff out a lot more skeletons out a lot more gray dwarfs out and other kind of stuff you don't want ads basically you don't want additional additional enemies coming to you and making your traversing of the wilderness making your kiting of the troll much much harder you don't want that and it's as simple as that it's kind of pretty basic isn't it maintain your distance have a bow as upgraded as you can if you can use fire arrows if you can use flinted arrows use them over the over obviously the wooden ones because wooden ones are rubbish and i could have made my life much much easier all in all hunting trolls is fun i'm gonna be doing more of that as i level up and that gives you gives me coins that i have not yet at this very noobish level have not yet discovered how to spend i know there, there are vendors somewhere in the world i know i'll get to that but that's how you hunt a troll let me know if you're a beginner of Valheim and if you believe that this helped you. It's always good to hear that these videos actually help someone that some people actually like to hear from me about this stuff rather than mainstream stuff that I've talked for months and years about, which is World of Warcraft. And this game is fun. I am definitely continuing my own exploration and my own enjoyment of the game. I hope you do too. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and don't be shy leave a comment let me know how you go about valheim are you playing even have any of my other videos maybe early game tips helped you and that kind of stuff always love to talk about this that with you speak with you soon videos are still being released twice a week see you later bye bye